spicy today in the Del Marva Life Kitchen, and no, that doesn't not that does not necessarily mean hot and spicy. Joining us today is the owner of the Spice and Tea Exchange in Ocean City, Joy Quinn Whalen. And Joy, when I was out there at your shop, you were rambling off a ton of recipes that right. we could use with your spices. So you came in today. You're going to show us some really simple dips and and a drink recipe that you can make with things that you sell in exactly. your store. Exactly. The key to easy entertaining is quick yes. right, and flavorful. And so what we have is a couple samples. What I thought, Sean, you might want to do, um, the basic thing that you can do is take some of our blends and blend it with sour cream or uh, a Greek yogurt or mayonnaise, whatever you like for your calorie content or your diet. And so we thought, here, I have a couple of made, but thought we'd put you on the onion obsession. All right. So you can just put about a third cup of the sour cream in there and you can put about a, um, a tablespoon of the onion obsession mix. If you want a little less, a little more, we give you um, a couple of guidelines, but it's really to taste. So if you like it more potent or less potent, it's your call. So That's, really it's that simple, it's just that simple. a little bit of sour cream, some of the spice blend, and, and mix it up, go. and exactly. it's good to go. That, My kind of recipe. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the Coastal, you're doing the Onion Obsession, and we have the Vicks Garlic. You heard me talk about the Vicks Garlic for a shrimp scampi mm -hmm. um, in the segment. We're also going to show you the Vicks Garlic pair with an olive oil, as well as with two other blends for some bread dipping. That'll be your next little That assignment. is probably the easiest thing we've ever done here <laughs> in the kitchen. It is that simple. And then, like you said, we could do it with olive oil right. as well. If you just put a tablespoon of each of those in the dishes in front of them and just pour a little olive oil on top, you're all set for some uh, sophisticated bread dipping with your wine and cheese. Yeah. I love it. So just dip it in there like that yeah and just pour Add a little olive oil, oil on top does it matter what kind of olive oil I mean do you have, prefer a, a light or a uh, you know you want the uh, a light olive oil that will carry the flavor of the spice you don't something uh, like a, I know I had a mas fuerte olive oil from Spain that was really potent this I would just go with a you know um, a moderate olive oil we carry one in the shop but there's also some nice olive oil stores that give you a broad variety mm -hmm. and then you just mix and match and away you go all right do you have to do this in advance or can you do this literally I mean how quick it is the company could be walking in the door exactly you right can do it then. some of the things you uh, the longer you let them sit they'll become more potent uh, for example the Vicks garlic I mixed up this morning so when you try it today it kind of grows on you if you have it out all day mm -hmm. in the fridge and, and you keep maybe want to add a little sour cream later as the garlic intensifies but it's just uh, as likely to just do it right before your guests arrive. I want to try okay. this and then I want to make uh, some yeah, of those I, cocktails. I get to, I get so to make some of the cocktails over here. So I'm so. trying the onion obsession. <laughs> well, I just made. This is really good, Lisa. You gotta try some. Okay, of I'm gonna I'm gonna reach over here. I'm going to try the Vicks garlic fix because I love garlic. And I love this oil. Mmm. It, it tastes like you spent hours on it, but you don't need to tell anybody. <laughs> you spent about five seconds wow. doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do have a lot of spices for the gourmet, some hard to find things, but really we're catering to your average person who's not a, a whiz in the kitchen that wants to bring some bold favors but doesn't want to go to a culinary school to get trained. That would be me. All right. So what do we need to do to get our drinks going? Okay, so to get your drinks going, we have a couple things here. Um, we have a uh, blueberry black tea that we've mixed with lemonade Ooh. for a non-alcoholic kind of take on an Arnold Palmer with some nice um, a sense of the blueberry. Mm -hmm. Here we have an orange creamsicle, creamsicle orange aid. So we have um, our blood orange smoothie tea. You're going to add about six ounces of that orange juice directly to this. Okay. And then you can add a couple of things if you could have it just like this for uh -huh. just a non-alcoholic cocktail or if you want to add vodka or we have some Prosecco or champagne. It's kind of like um, a different take <laughs> on a fuzzy navel. So what, do you what think, you're Sean? doing, uh, I think we should try it with the champagne. I think so it's only fair. Just pour it in there? Just pour it in there. Um, but what I think is cool is, and you were telling me when I was at the store. Same you're so <laughs> a little bit. Just like, <laughs> when you're out, when we're out of the store, you're telling me you can substitute these teas for the sugary drinks that you, or the cocktail yeah. exactly. that you normally. So would you're use. getting the fruit flavor that you want that is um, provided by typically a high sugar, um, naturally a sugar gel. Um, 
juice uh -huh. uh, without the sugar. Okay. And if you want it to be a little bit sweeter, then you actually can control the sweetness based on using a simple syrup or just adding some sweetener. Okay. Most All right. Right. Next we have, okay. what we have here. So what we have here, this is using one of our blends. This is tomato juice uh, with our Bloody Mary mix mm -hmm. and uh, a little vodka. What I wanted to show you here is how you can use um, not only our blend in the product itself, but also can I bring this up so they can just see what you just did there? What is that? So this can be a simple syrup or you can use a little um, light corn syrup. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm doing here is just rimming the glass. This is our bacon salt. You saw this online. You could do this with salt. You can do this with sugar. And this bacon salt is actually vegan, so there's no actual bacon in it. But the flavors are um, tricking you into Yeah, when you said bacon that. salt, Jimmy's ears went like that. And then, there you go, your Bloody Mary mm. with, with your bacon, bacon salt. salt. Oh my goodness. Awesome. All right, and then finally. And then the last thing here is a tea-based martini. Okay. So this is our berry white tea, mm -hmm. and you just take the berry white tea, you could do plain, plain vodka. Here we have a cranberry infused vodka. And just put it in here? Yeah. All of it? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And you could dump one of those vodkas in. Uh, you can use, there's a variety of different uh, martini recipes online. What I usually do is equal parts vodka and the tea. And then you can throw in a little lemon juice to tart it up. And shake away. Is this a shake away. Do I need to squeeze the lemon? That would be good, but yeah, we can I mean, do that later. Yeah, I, was gonna say, <laughs> I don't okay. know if we have time. Yeah. I'm just going to squeeze That's some in great. there. How's shake that? it up. And then shake, shake it up, up and you're good to go. All right. I'm over here eating all this dip still, uh -huh. and you're down there um, shaking up the cocktails. I'm okay with that. I want to say, too, I want to say, when it was really nice of you, the, the blend that I actually blended up, you uh, blend. brought some uh, packets to hand out to our audience. Right. And I'm uh, sensing a theme. The things that I make, people usually give out. So that's either because I did a really good job or you just want to get rid of it and not sell it. I'm not going to make you <laughs> answer that question <laughs> right now. How I, is that? Yeah, I, everyone that? in the audience is going home with, with a packet yeah, of uh, we're Sean's out mix. To everybody, so. And I think Jimmy, we were going to get Jimmy, Jimmy in here to try something some of this real um, she's telling me all the spicy yeah. stuff, and you're not even thinking about I, it. I, no, I, I, Jimmy, I'm always what, thinking about okay, you. Okay, all right. This, oh, is a, this is one we didn't actually talk about. This is a taco dip that's super simple as well. You might want to try that one. Mm. All Listen, right, and, and I'm that. over here. Yeah, I'm, I was going to pour you some of the... Joy, thank you so right. much. No thank you so for much all for bringing all this in here. I am definitely going to go check that out. And, of course, if you would like any of these recipes or more information about the Spice and Tea Exchange, just head over to our website, DelmarvaLife.com. Up next on Delmarva Life, Sean, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. We are digging into the Delmarva Life mailbag. We'll hear what you, our viewers, have to say about, well, everything. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. Delmarva Life will be right back. Cheers. Thanks, Joy. Thanks, Joy. Thank you.